question. If Summer was real, mm -hmm. Spencer, yeah, would you guys be friends in real life? Actually, you know, I, I thought about this question, and I was like, probably, I think, because she's not that cool, and I was really not that cool in high school at all. I was just saying that. It's clearly lived with me for a really long time, <laughs> as I'm realizing now, and I was like, yeah, no, yeah, all those really successful people, I know them, I went to school with them, I wasn't one of the cool kids. So I, I think we would be friends. How much input do you have on the uh, trajectory of Summer and her character, the um, story? Uh, Nick, what do you think? Um, zero. Zero. We don't, zero influence. We don't, we, we don't listen like to women's opinions on the show. Uh, got Neither you, does buddy. that guy. You, man. Uh, no, I don't think that's true. I think, I, think my, I think some of my portrayal of her and my obvious uh, opinionated uh, views on femininity and um, the patriarchy really shine in that character in general. So I think that's kind of become a point of contention. Also, if you spend time with me, I'm kind of combative with men in general. So I think it works well with the Rick situation no, between Summer and Rick. And they were like, we should just make her more like that. It was like, great idea, guys. I really like great Rick idea. and Summer's like relationship. I, I think do it's too. really fun. It almost feels yeah. tighter than Morty and Rick's. Like it's, but it's like secretive. It's, it's equivalent really, in a way. Yeah, you know, like Nimbus. When equality. He's, yeah, it's, I like it a lot. What's your favorite part about being part of such an iconic and popular oh, yeah, show for both of you? Whoever wants yeah, to go first, Nick, take you it go away. First. I'll go you first. want me to go first? Uh, no, I'll go first because my answer is going to knock it right out of the park and then you're going to be sunk in the water. Oh, no. I guess... <laughs> <laughs> if I have you to think to about it, you. it's the fans. <laughs> uh, shared community, if you will. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, pushing forward women's rights, women's ideas. And uh, just being a part of something bigger than yourself to, to enact a larger change. That's his pitch for the 2022 presidential campaign. Wow. That was too heartfelt. Now I can't be funny anymore. No, I, I think there's a lot of amazing things about being part of an iconic show, especially like one like this that speaks to people all over the world. I always got into acting and storytelling as story, story, storytelling. I just got nervous because I was like, I'm being authentic now. Oh my God. Um, because I wanted to give people a catharsis. Like, that's the best part as an actor that you can do for an audience, right? You put yourself in situations that are like uncomfortable in so many different ways, and you make people laugh, you make them cry, and it's beautiful. And so it's the first time that I was able to do a show where I actually was proud of the material we were doing. We were pushing comedy in different directions, um, going pretty dark with stuff. And then it all like rolled into this family dynamic that I felt very connected to myself. But also, I get laid a lot. <laughs> Yay! Really? So there's that. And the show takes on a different meaning for those lucky few. <laughs> but these are all men who are, are pretending they're having sex with a 17-year-old girl named Summer. It, what man isn't? Okay, right, right. 